a warm welcome for everyone to the session number 3 in the part of react learning series in this session we will understand about what are elements how do we create elements and how do we render elements in react so let's start our discussion with what is an element elements are the smallest building blocks of react apps an element specifies what should be there in our user interface to be precise an element is a plain object describing what we want to appear in terms of dom nodes creating a react element is cheap compared to creating a dom element to understand it in practical let us open node js command prompt let us navigate to the demo project which we have created in our last class so cd d drive react programs cd so we have created a project called as demo project let us run this project using npm start command next let us open this project using visual studio code i open visual studio code file open folder d drive react programs demo project and let's click on select folder an element can be created using jsx or without jsx let us create our first element using jsx so to do that let us open a src folder let us navigate to a file called as index.js there is some auto generated code here let us delete the code except keeping the code which imports react and react dom we will understand them in our further sessions let's say we want to create an element of h1 type so i say const element is equals to we say h1 welcome to react programming this is not a string remember this is the jsx convention of creating any element so we have created an element of type h1 and it has a text called as welcome to react programming now after the element is created we should render this element into our browser dom for that we need a container when we create a new project using react we get a file in our public folder called as index.html if we open this index.html this html has two sections one is head another one is body in body we have a div with an id as root and we will use this div as our container and we will try to render this element into that container then what do we do as we say react dom dot render it is asking us to pass the element what is the element you want to render we have created here an element called as element and it is asking us to pass the container now let us get the container using document dot get element by id and we pass the id root is the id which we have given so now this method will render this element into this container now let us save this code open browser i type the url http colon localhost colon 3300 and we can see the output here welcome to react programming we have created an element of type h1 which has a text as welcome to react programming and we have rendered this element into a container of id root now let's say we want to apply some styles to this then what do we do as we navigate to a file called as index.css which sits in the same src folder so here let us create a new class and i name this class as test class let us give border 3px solid and i give it as red let us save this and i want to apply this class to this element which has been created then we should refer to that file how do we refer to that file is we say dot slash because both are existing in the same folder we say index dot css and then we want to apply that style to this element then what do we do is we use an attribute called as class name is equals to let's say the class name as test class as that is the class which we have created now let us save this and let's go back to the browser and we could see that change i remember an element in react contains type and properties applied here h1 is the element type and the property we have applied is class name which has a value called as test class now let's say i'll copy this code and i create a new copy and i change this element to new element and maybe let's say i change this text as understanding the creation of 
elements in react and we render the newly created element new element so we have created two elements and we are trying to render both the elements into the same container when we do this what will happen is the last created element will have the precedence over the other elements which are created and this replaces all the previous elements which has been rendered and let us save this let us go back to the browser and if we see the output we can see understanding the creation of elements in react which is coming from the second element which we have created called as new element it is overriding the previous renders what has happened onto the dom so now what if if we want to render both this can be achieved using multiple options one is we can go back to our index.html file we can create another div with a different id let's say we'll name this as app let us save this we can go to our index.js and this new element can be rendered into a different container which we have created with an id called as app so i have changed this element id let us save this and let's go back to the browser and now you can see both the elements are being rendered but they have been rendered into different containers but in usual we will have one container in our index.html it is not the usual practice where you create many containers we will have one container into which we display the data or we push the data so now what should we do if we want to render both the elements into a single container let's say we want to render both the elements into one container so now what i do is let's go here let us remove the other container which we have created here all right let us make this save now i comment this code now let's say we want to create an element in which we want to render both these h1 tags right then i'll create const element as it then let's say we start div tag h1 welcome to react programming is the text we provide h1 understanding the creation of react elements now if we want to apply property like class name equals to we can say this as test class and let us end this with semicolon so we have created the element now we have to render the element so rendering is as same as the one we have done earlier react dom dot render element and the container so document dot get element by id and we pass the id that is root so let us save this let us go back to the browser and we could see that both h1 tags are being rendered here into the same div here div is the parent element in which we have two child elements of type h1 we have created elements using jsx until now though jsx provides us few benefits and we will discuss them in our upcoming sessions the flip side to this is the code we have written until now using jsx would be compiled into plain javascript using babel compiler so we are involving an extra process of doing the compilation into plain javascript jsx is not a requirement for using react using react without jsx is especially convenient when we don't want to set up compilation in our build environment so let us go ahead and comment this code and now we would like to create elements using react without jsx const element and we use a method called as react dot create element to create a react element without using jsx and it is asking us to pass the type what type of element you want to create we say we want to create element of type h1 it can be h1 h2 or div it can be of any type and the second parameter is it is asking us to specify does it take any properties i do not have any properties to pass hence we pass them as null and then it is asking us to pass the children so what are the child elements you want to pass to this h1 now i want to pass a text here so we say welcome to react programming world so we have created the react element using react dot create element method now the rendering remains same so we say react dom dot render element what we have created comma document dot get element by id and we pass root let us save this change 
go back to the browser and we would see that welcome to react programming world now let's say whatever we have created earlier using jsx here now this we want to repeat or replicate using react without jsx so i come in this const element is equals to react dot create element we want to create element of type div and we want to apply a class name to this div so we would be passing them as a property so here we say class name and it would be test class is what we have created and now we want to pass child elements so here this div has two child elements one is h1 with a text called as welcome to react programming and other one is another h1 with a text as understanding the creation of react elements so here we say react dot create element and we want to create h1 element of type i don't have any properties to pass hence i pass null and the text welcome to react programming now the second element what do we want to create inside this div so react dot create element gain of type h1 and i don't have any properties to pass hence we pass null and the text we want to pass to this we are done with creating this element and let us render this element react dom dot render element and the container document dot get element by id root being the container let us save this let us go back to the browser and we could see that we are able to render both these elements into a container that is dev let's look at the output and we can see both the h1 tags now we have seen how do we create react elements using jsx and without using jsx to understand the difference between react with jsx and react without jsx much better let us open our browser navigate to our online coding editor that is http colon codepen.io let's click on start coding in html section i create a div tag with an idea as app and let us try to write some javascript code first let us start with creating elements using jsx so we say const element in h1 we write the same that is welcome to react programming and then let us render this element to dom using react dom dot render we pass the element and then we say document dot get element by id and we have given app as our id now to ensure that this code works fine we have to do few extra settings so let us click on the settings section and here it asks us what js files you want to refer i have kept them handy one is react another one is react dom now if we close this it will not work instead you will get some errors now if we go to console we will understand the error now it says this is unexpected token that is because we have written the code using jsx and it has to be converted into plain javascript using babel compiler now if you don't want to do that compilation we can make a small change here we can create this element using react dot create element method and we can say we wanted element of type h1 and i don't want to apply any property to that and the text inside this let us give welcome to react programming the same one and now you can see the same code works without any issues that is because we are writing the code directly in javascript terminology previously we have used jsx and that jsx code gets converted into javascript by using babel compiler there was an extra step being performed to convert our jsx code into javascript whereas when you write the code using react dot create element method we are writing the code directly in javascript so it does not need any extra compilation that is the difference between jsx and without jsx guys i hope we are clear now on how do we create elements in react and how do we render them thank you for watching this video and have a great day